The California High Speed Railway is the proposed high speed rail system that would connect major cities in California including San Francisco, Los Angeles and San Diego. The project aims to provide a fast, convenient and environmentally friendly alternative to driving and flying between these cities. The idea for the California High Speed Railway was first proposed in the 1990s and the project gained momentum in the 2000s with the passage of several bond measures and the creation of California High Speed Rail Authority. The project has faced a number of challenges and controversies over the years including concerns about the cost, route selection and environmental impacts. Construction on the project began in 2015 and the first segment of the railway is currently under construction in the Central Valley region of California. The full project is expected to be completed in several phases over the next several decades with the goal of providing high speed rail service between San Francisco and Los Angeles by 2033. Proponents of California high speed railway argue that it will provide numerous benefits including reducing traffic congestion, improving air quality and boosting economic development. Critics however question the project's cost, feasibility and potential environmental impacts. History Before 1992, Governor Jerry Brown had long been an advocate of a high-speed rail system for California. In his first two terms as governor, 1975 to 1983, he signed legislation into law for the study of the high-speed rail system. In 1992, in his run for the presidency of the United States, he continued to show his support for it. Then, in the 1993, the Intercity High-Speed Rails Commission. was created to conduct studies and prepare plans at the federal level in 1992 the san francisco los angeles rail corridor was proposed in the intermodal surface transportation efficiency act as one of the five high speed rail corridors in 1996 the california high speed rail authority chsra was established by sb 1420 to begin formal planning in the preparation for a ballot measure in 1998 or 2000 the ballot measure was originally scheduled to be put before voters in the 2004 general election however the state legislature voted twice to move it back first 2006 and finally to 2008 When 53% of the voter approved the issuing of 9 billion US dollars in bonds for high speed rail in proposition 1A 2008 the US Congress enacted the Passenger Rail Investment and Improvement Act of 2008 PRIIA which among other things required the states to develop passenger rail plans 2013 In May 2013 the California DOT released its 2013 state rail plan. This helped provide a new perspective that viewed the HSR project as the backbone of a statewide rail modernization plan. This has been used by the authority in allocating funds to other state rail systems that support passenger rail goals and feed into the HSR system. The plan is being updated by DOT with the latest revision in the process of publication now. 2014 In Jerry Brown's Second two terms as governor 2011 to 2019 in 2014 25% of the California cap and trade revenue was allocated to the HSR system in 2017 this was extended into 2030 2022 as we 198 established the priority of bringing a working HSR line into operation as soon as possible problem solving yes the california high speed railway is a problem solving project the california high speed railway is a proposed high speed rail system that aims to connect major cities in california including san francisco los angeles and san diego with trains traveling at speeds of up to 220 miles per hour one of the main problems that california high speed railway aims to solve is the issue of traffic congestion on california's highway and air pollution from cars and airplanes the project seeks to provide an alternative mode of transportation that is faster more efficient and environmentally friendly the california high speed railway also aims to promote economic growth by connecting major business centers and facilitating easier travel for commuters tourists and business people however the project has faced numerous challenges including cost overruns delays and opposition from some local communities nevertheless the california high speed railway remains a significant problem solving initiative that seeks to address some of california's most pressing transportation and environmental challenges benefits 
Implementing high speed rail, HSR will provide Americans with more transportation choices. It will also make sure that America remains an economic engine and meets the environmental and energy challenges in this century. Creates jobs. Building high speed rail will create hundreds of thousands of jobs. Every one US billion dollar in investment creates 24,000 jobs. These are highly skilled jobs that will revitalize the domestic rail industries supplying transportation products and services. Increases economic activity. Every one dollar invested creates four dollar in economic benefits. Upgrading passenger operations on newly revitalized track, bridges, and rights of way is spurring business productivity along corridors. Reduces congestion and boosts productivity. Congestion on our nation's roads costs 140 billion US dollars in lost time and productivity. The US population is projected to grow by another 100 million people in the next 40 years. The population growth is creating mega regions that will not prosper unless that can be freed from the stranglehold of highway and airport congestion. Reduces the nation's dependence on foreign oil. According to the International Association of Railways UIC, High-speed rail is eight times more energy efficient than airplanes and four times more efficient than automobiles use. It will also decrease greenhouse gas emissions and improve air quality, expand travel choices and improve mobility. High-speed rail can deliver people from one downtown to another as fast as or faster than air travel. It will also expand options for citizens in rural or small urban communities with increased transfer points and feeder services that connect with the new HSR corridors. The California High Speed Railway project has several potential benefits, including reduced travel time. High Speed Rail would significantly reduce travel time between major cities in California. For example, the travel time between Los Angeles and San Francisco would be reduced from around 6 hours by car to around 2.5 hours high speed train. Reduce congestion and pollution. The high-speed rail system would reduce the number of cars on California's highway, thereby reducing congestion and the air pollution. It would also reduce the number of flights between major cities, reducing carbon emissions from airplanes. Improved economic growth The high-speed rail system would connect major business centers in California, making it easier for commuters, tourists, and business people to travel. This would promote economic growth and job creation. Improved mobility The high-speed rail system would provide an affordable and accessible mode of transportation for Californians who may not have access to car or cannot afford airfare. Reduce dependence on fossil fuels. The high-speed rail system would run on electricity, reducing California's dependence on fossil fuels and promoting the use of renewable energy sources. Improved safety. High-speed rail is generally considered safer than car travel and can reduce the risks of accidents and fatalities on California's highways. Overall, the California High-Speed Railway project is, has the potential to provide numerous benefits to the California's economy, environment, and quality of life for its citizens. Key Elements of the Project The key element of the California High-Speed Railway project include high-speed trains. The project includes the construction and operation of high-speed trains that can travel at speed of up to 220 miles per hour connecting major cities in California. Dedicated Tracks The high-speed trains would run on dedicated tracks separate from existing freight and passenger rail lines. This would improve efficiency, reduce travel times, and enhance safety. New Stations The project includes the construction of new stations in major cities including San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego to facilitate easy and convenient access for travelers. Environmental Sustainability the project includes a commitment to environmental sustainability by promoting the use of renewable energy sources, reducing carbon emissions, and minimizing impacts of wildlife and ecosystems. Financing and Funding The project requires significant investment and financing to build the infrastructure, purchase trains, and operate the system. The project is funded through a combination of federal, state, and private financing. Public Support and Community Engagement The success of the project depends on public support and community engagement. The project has faced opposition from some local communities and requires ongoing engagement with stakeholders to ensure that it meets the needs of all Californians. Regulatory and Legal Compliance The project must comply with federal, state, and local regulations and laws, including environmental and safety regulations, to ensure that it is safe, effective, and meet all the legal requirements. Duration The California High Speed Railway project has a long and complex history and has faced numerous delays and setbacks. 
The project was initially proposed in 1996 and has undergone several revisions and changes over the years. The current plan for the project was approved in 2018 and the construction has been underway since 2015. The project is being built in phases with the first phase connecting to San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim. This phase is expected to be completed by 2029 with initial service beginning in 2025. However, the project has faced significant challenges and delays including cost overruns, legal and regulatory issues and opposition from some local communities. As a result, the project's timeline and completion date have been pushed back several times, and it is unclear when the entire project will be completed. Budget: The budget for the California High-Speed Railway project has changed significantly over the years. There has been ongoing debate and concern about the project's costs and funding. The initial cost estimate for the project was around 33 billion US dollars in 2008, with funding coming from combination of federal, state, and private sources. However, as the project evolved and faced delays and challenges, the estimated cost increased significantly. As of 2021, the estimated cost for the first phase of the project connecting San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim is around 80 US billion dollars. This includes the cost of building the infrastructure, purchasing trains, and operating the system. I hope you liked today's video. For more interesting videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.